Hello and welcome to my review of the Salakar Rocket Mod Kit. This is a 50 watt starter kit designed for those who are just experimenting with sub ohm vaping and want an all in one package. I'll open it up here so you can see all of the contents that you get included straight out of the box. We look at the instruction manual. It's quite well laid out on this. Um, big diagrams and pictures and the font is easy to read. The only thing that I did note was that there are a few typos and questionable translations, but it's easy enough to follow this. Do take note with the codes that are on the next page. They give you an indication if there's a problem or if you have a low battery setting. Also included in the kit is a microfiber cloth and a micro USB charging cable. Moving into the right hand side we have the five 10 milliliter bottles. These are 50-50 mix and in different flavors which we'll have a look at in a minute. There's no nicotine in these as you'd expect for most of these kits. So bear that in mind if you are using nicotine. Looking at the display, the LCD display is backlit. It's not an OLED, it's just a basic display. But it does give you an indication of the voltage and the ohms being used and the power when the atomizer is attached. Looking at the top of the battery, we have the standard 510 thread and some ventilation holes at the bottom. This feels pretty good in the hand. It's mostly metal construction apart from the cover on the LCD display, which could be a bit thicker. Looking at the spare coil that you get included, you can see the thick cotton on that. And there's a tool included too, so you can adjust the screw if you're not making contact with the top of the battery connection. Onto the tank, this has a black finish and adjustable airflow. The capacity of this isn't big, it's about two milliliters, so it's quite a compact tank. You can also take the tip off, note the plastic section that you have on the inside of that that helps to keep the heat down. This is bottom fill only. You'll see quite a thick silicone covering, the red to prevent leakage, so you need to screw that in quite tightly and it screws into the coil itself so it gives a good seal on that. I haven't had any leak issues with this. It seems to work quite well, but you will have to make sure it's screwed in quite firmly. Now filling this up just to the side, avoid the central area and you can fill that up. It's probably easy with the metal tip um, bottles, but this one works okay. And then just screw the base in Would be nice to have a top fill on this, but there you go, that's what we get. Now this is just to show you the display um, when you've got the clearomizer attached. So the output will vary depending on the ohms of the coil that you're using. It's not the most useful display, but it's um, better than nothing, I suppose. Now in the hand, quite a nice fit and feel to this. It's not too big, not too heavy, um, and I quite like the design. Looking at the e-liquids that are provided, these are actually pretty good. 50-50 uh, mix, so they're quite smooth. And now the flavors range from the mild sort of watermelon up to quite a strong coffee and the tobacco with the apple somewhere in between. They're actually pretty good. You can mix them in with other juices as well. So not bad for a starting off uh, selection. If you want to use the case for something else other than the e-cigarette kit, you can actually just peel that off and that makes for a decent little case, possibly for fishing or in the car. Um, in the hand, personally my feelings are this suits right-handed users better, I'm left-handed, I can use it, it's okay, it just feels more comfortable in the right hand. Uh, the design and styling of the unit is quite compact, it's not too big, especially for a sub ohm vape kit. Some of these tanks and batteries can be pretty big and quite heavy, this isn't so much, and as it's a starter kit that probably suit many users more so than the more expensive units. Now, quick vape test on this. You can get a pretty good vape out of this, but it's single power output. So really your only way of adjusting that is gonna be using different uh, coils. So the sub ohm ones can get quite a decent amount of vape out of this. If you open up the airflow holes, you can get even bigger cloud production if that's what you're after. I'm personally not so much into that. You can see quite a nice cloud coming off there. So if you wanna look for um, a big vape production, this can do the job, albeit on a budget. Now when you're charging this, you can use it at the same time as well, which is an advantage. A lot of these battery boxes you can't. 
the major disadvantage is the display doesn't really tell you anything other than shuts off when it's completed charging. So I got about two hours, 50 minutes to charge this from flat, which isn't too bad. And the battery lasted quite a long time on this, certainly better than some of the other budget batteries that I've used. Wrapping up with a quick summary on the Rocket 50 kit from Cellcar, I'll start with the disadvantages. The most obvious one is the LCD display doesn't show the battery life remaining. Even if it just had three bars or four bars, that would have been useful. That seems like a strange oversight. Um, the battery box is better suited to right-handed users, so bear that in mind if you're left-handed. And the tank capacity is a bit small compared to some of the sub -ohm. Um, vaping kits. On the other hand the price isn't bad if you include everything included you also get quite a decent case and I've got pretty good battery life out of the unit too above average compared to similar ones at this price point. So overall personally I think it's worth a look if you need a complete all-in-one kit.